We and my wife, we play a game uh, every day. It's called uh, Why You Angry? <laughs> everyone, I'm Liana and I'm Marissa. Welcome back to another episode of Pillow Talk with the MCO edition. So in the previous episode, we had Ely as our guest and because it was so much fun, we decided to bring her back in as our co-host. Oh my goodness, thank you so much guys. You guys are so sweet. But you know what? Last week we actually talked about uh, whether or not MCO is a reason to break up with someone. But it turns out that, you know what? The breakups already in motion. MCO just made it worse. Yeah. So. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest here and say that that session really made me uh, revisit the question uh, of how people manage to stay together for so long, especially when you're together 24-7. So personally, because I stay with my boyfriend, I'm just kind of like, I need my space. Please leave me alone. So it looks like you and our viewers are in for a lot of helpful tips today because our guest has been married to his wife for a decade now, right, Kevin? Yes, 10 yes. years. Oh, wow, that's amazing. So Kevin J is a comedian with his own Netflix special, and he's pretty much considered as the top three comedians in Malaysia. I travel around the world doing comedy now. I know I'm a brown man with a beard, but use a bit of common sense. Have you ever seen a fat terrorist? This to America, but first, McDonald's. So how are you doing today, Kevin? How's MCO treating you? Uh, the thing is, I'm supposed to be productive, but I have not been productive at all during this uh, whole MCO period. You're living with your family, right? What have you been doing with them? Uh, basically, of? yes, I live with my wife and my seven-year-old daughter. My wife still works, right? So she she's a scientist of some sort. She's with UM, she's in the ethics committee and stuff like that. I don't know what she does. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think she loves I'm not sure. And my daughter is seven years old. She's not paying rent, and uh, she's a bum living here for free, lah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking, guys. I like their company. Okay. I, I I enjoy their company in small doses. So, has there been any difference since the MCO started? Now that you see them a lot more frequently. <laughs> Mm, okay, to say there's a difference is an understatement. Uh, <laughs> it's one of those things where, look, you see, we use work as an escape from home. And we use home as an escape from work. Now there's no escape. We see each other's face 24 hours. I've never seen, you know, the thing is, I thought my mother was the only one who could sweep the floor while angry. Apparently, a lot of other people can do that as well. <laughs> Speaking of your wife, how mm -hmm. long were you guys um, acquainted with each other before you decided to get, them, to get married? And how did you know that she was the one that you wanted to get married to? We met, I think, three years before we got married. And mm -hmm. also, how did I know she was the one? Because my father told me. And uh, <laughs> also, her father told me. Uh, just like, <laughs> telling you the truth, right? Because I'm, by default, the only child in my family. My brother passed away uh, when before he got married. I, I wasn't a big advocate of marriage. I think marriage is one of those things where, you know, it, it, it's, a, it's a paper qualification rather than anything else. But mm -hmm. being an only child in an Asian family, if you don't get married, you, you, you bring shame to the family. We knew that we didn't have much time for like dating and we had to get, we had to get serious really fast. And this was like, basically, if this doesn't work out, then, you know, the showroom quality doesn't work out, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I realized that, she, you know, this was the person I had to kind of share my life with was because I think we were both adult enough to understand that, look, love is one thing, but it's about hard work as well. It's about living with someone and it's about compromise. It's about, you know, doing things that... Uh, annoys the other person less so it's not about finding the right the perfect person it's about finding the right person for you yes it's about finding the right mentality more than the finding the right person because the person itself, anyone can be you i mean the thing is look you you your best friend right you, your best friend the whole world since kindergarten you love that guy right or girl whatever but <laughs> you then becomes a roommate within two years you all are at each other's throats you know uh, some, something happens, you're all punching each other. It, that's that's how it works. It, it, it's about finding that roommate and the mentality that basically y'all are adult enough to know that if no matter what happens, this is a partnership. Like, it, it's not going to just, you know, you can't just go like, okay, divorce. Mm. <laughs> so you and your wife share the same values then? I hope so, la, because, <laughs> <laughs> uh, because she knew I was a comedian at first. She thought that, you know, me making jokes about her was annoying, right? She was, she's, she's very annoyed by that fact. Like, oh, how dare you make 
jokes about us. Then she saw the checks coming in. She's like, make fun as much as you want. Don't problem. <laughs> so I, I, I deal with things differently from other people. So she tries to understand what I am and I try to understand what she is. Although, don't get me wrong, we fight every day. Every day go one fight. But the thing is, we know that, look, it, at the end of the day, it's just an, an argument that we have and we only argue with people with whom with we, you know, kind of, we have that connection with. If not, if most of the time I don't argue with people because I don't feel it's worth it to argue with anyone that I don't even care about. That's very true. Elite, what are your thoughts about this? I mean, now I'm kind of scared to get married, to be honest, because... Um... Don't get married, it's a scam. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, yeah! I mean, I mean, your thoughts are just, it's just making me feel like, oh, this is so scary, you know, because you're living with this person, like, basically for the rest of your life. And uh, mm. especially during MCO, you know how like, you don't, you can't go out? Because everybody has like their own lives and you know you go mm. out for work and everything you're not really at home 24 7 but now you are so do you think being at home with your family right now strengthens that relationship or do you feel like it's a little bit of the opposite i don't know love is a very strange thing right because love makes you want to hug and simultaneously strangle the person you with. You understand what I'm saying? So it's the <laughs> thing, it, it's 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 twofold. So it, it's both ways. It, it strengthens and it weakens at the same time. But then the thing is, it, the balance makes it pala. Basically, you you know, strengthen weaken. Enough time with it, with someone, you learn how to dislike them also. Not only love, but you also learn to dislike something. Yeah. Right. And so it's 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 a it's a balance of two worlds. And that balance is very important to find. If you can't find the balance, nobody else can find that balance for you. So it, it you have to be ready to be married before you want to get married. How do you not get to the point where you want to strangle them? You sometimes have to strangle them. That's how <laughs> it works. Okay. It's it's finding that balance within yourself. Like you know you know you cannot live without a person, but you also contact contemplate murder so many times like how many times i've left the house i'm thinking myself like if i just leave the gas on right nobody will know it looked like an accident really if, nobody will know the balance is knowing that oh i'll miss them if they are gone so let's not do it you know that's the balance you have to find within yourself right it's not marriage or relationship is not about finding solace from the other person it's about finding solace with yourself and being comfortable enough with yourself that you can share yourself with someone else agree oh, yeah that's so deep oh that's so cute now i want to find someone lah. okay i changed my mind uh, <laughs> you're so balance, so balance, you're like, balance. You're okay. within yourself then you can find someone else right you know the, the best part about being married for 10 years is that the, the amount of goodwill that I've had over the years kind of carries over kind of this thing. So now I understand, look, there's not a lot of alone time, but you know, I, I get, I'm okay lah, I'm okay with it. You know, it's just one of those things that I get annoyed very easily, but uh, you know, that annoyance, we, we do quarrel a lot, but at the end of the day, we like, you know, this thing. Lah. You know, actually that's so true. I, I mean, that's, that's something that you sort of like go through with somebody like, yeah, like you get, arguments and but then you also like love them you know it's like a it's like two yeah. things happening at the same time so like uh, marissa you actually live with your boyfriend right mm -hmm. how is that like is it the same as like what kevin's been saying about like his relationship at home like is it the same with you guys or i i, I agree with a lot of what he said you need a lot of alone time like the only time my boyfriend we, we even eat separately the only time we are together is when we're on like sleeping even then we are asleep other than that we kind of like do our own work live our own lives talk to each other about what we need to talk about and then just do our own thing again because if not it's just every second of the day you're exactly. not yourself you yeah. know wow. you're but sometimes but i you're... wonder like when you stay with someone right i mean they will want to feel appreciated because that kind of like you just like be in your room like 24 7 right and then only come up when you have to so like like how do you guys appreciate your partner like like kevin like what would you say are the little things you would do to like you know appreciate your wife a little bit you know like hey girl well, it's it's a lot of small things that you can do to to kind of you know show appreciation blah blah blah. Like for instance, at home I cook a lot, right? Uh, so I cook food, and in fact I have a cooking series called Cooking to Get Laid, uh, because that is okay. basically what I'm doing it for. <laughs> wow! By the way, I'm eight episodes in, and no laying has been done. So <laughs> no, but yeah, cooking or. It just you know sharing responsibility i think is a very very big thing is a big step that shows that oh no you are appreciated and also like you know washing the dishes sometimes you know like yesterday i tried making ramen noodles from scratch right so i had to get the alkali and blah 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 and i failed miserably miserably failed at the end of the day but she did appreciate the the effort right but she didn't appreciate the fact that she had to wash the dishes after that. <laughs>
<laughs> so everything is about balance. 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 That's like the key takeaway here. <laughs> okay, okay, so we're gonna lighten things up. I think it's quite like we're gonna move on to our next segment. Okay, so now we're gonna play Never Have I Ever. Does everyone have their apple cider? Apple cider yes. vinegar. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so how does this work? Wait, if I have done it, I I drink, or if I haven't done it, I drink. You, if, if you, you have, have done, done it, it, you drink. If I you haven't done okay. it. I have done a lot of things in my life, I guess. <laughs> so basically, we'll drink the whole thing now. We get it. Okay, okay, let's go, guys. You guys ready for the first one? Sure. Yes. All right. So never have I ever pull a prank on my partner just to see him or her suffer. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Oh. <laughs> okay, you gotta tell us about this prank. Yeah. <laughs> what did you do? Which one? Uh, the, biggest, the biggest one. Yeah, I have, a lot of times when I, as I mentioned earlier, I cook. I purposely uh, make things like you know, instead I put extra salt or I put extra pepper <laughs> or I put extra chili just to just to like you know she takes it. Then I give her the spoon, right? So what? No, when I cooking, that is appropriate amount of stuff. But when I take a spoon for her to taste, I add like you know chili pepper <laughs> and then I go and like ah, and she turns away. And, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh my goodness. That's no, so cute not. though. <laughs> it's like, no, it's it's not. Not. Never have I ever lied to my partner, but for a reason. Deepo's no, so nice. So nice. So. Yeah, that is, everybody has done that, right? I mean, I gotta do it, guys. <laughs> oh, God, they're all. They're the worst apple cider. Why did I have to find the raw, unfiltered, organic guy? <laughs> Never have I ever thought about someone else. When I'm with my partner, I mean, in what sense? Oh, can we just go? Yeah, yeah, in what sense? Wait, wait, wait. Before I drink, what, in what <laughs> sense? I'm, I'm thinking romantically. Okay. Romantically. That's like normal, right? Ah. It's like, here now. No. No? Um, oh, wait, no. I mean, not yes, in the previous decision. Previous decision. With them, you just oh, think. Shut up. We all know that you you think of his face with uh, it is Alba's body. Shut up. That's true. Uh, that's true. Uh, he yeah. just called us out, guys. Let's just. Uh, yeah. No, yeah. I do it. Okay, I do my girlfriend's face with uh, it is Alba's body. I. <laughs> um. Never have I ever fallen in love with the idea of someone instead of the person they really are. Oh no. This is everybody does this. Okay. If I do not, yeah. To an extent. To an extent, okay. Yeah, I do this every day. Like every day, I'm like, <laughs> hey, that person is interesting. Why wow, would? And then I find out who they are. I'm like, yeah, thanks. Last one for everybody. <laughs> Never Thank have God. I ever. Oh no, dated two people at once. Wait, really? Okay, guys. It's not the art of multi dating. I think it's fine if you're oh. not committed relationship. If you're just dating around, that's nothing, right? I think it's fine if both or th all three of them or how many other people you're dating, they know. Yeah, they know, yeah. Definitely. Respectful, at least. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that's so interesting because for me, it's like when I want to like go on a date with somebody, I only think mm. about them. Okay, I'm just like a very traditional like person, I guess. I just think about them first and then if it doesn't work out, then only I move on to the next date. You know what I mean? Ah, okay. Ah. Okay. okay, well, that's it for Never Have I Ever, guys. Thank you so much for playing and uh, being honest. Appreciate it. Is is the apple cider vinegar supposed to burn? Yes. Okay. It's better on an empty stomach too. I would never drink this on an empty stomach, empty pocket, empty anything. Just drink normal vinegar. Lah. <laughs> <laughs> it's worse. Isn't it worse? Okay. We had such a fun and, you know, like informative and happy conversation with you, Kevin. Thank you so much for being here with us. What? Is your um, final message for anyone watching this? I think the final message, if anything, is the fact that uh, look, you you have you kind of have to be comfortable with yourself before you can be comfortable with other people. Uh, happiness comes from within, not without. So you don't try to find happiness from other people, but from yourself. And also, the second thing is uh, don't drink uh, apple cider vinegar. <laughs> it's horrible. I don't know why people do that. People simply put themselves to torture, you know. You know, some people whip themselves, right? Okay, I think that's all for today. We'll see you guys again on the next episode of Film Talk. Take care. Hey, everybody. Please subscribe and follow Likely's page on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Tinder, uh, LinkedIn. Whatever profile, just follow. Lah. Just follow. In fact, you know what you do? You follow them in real life.